Hello, our lesson for today is idioms such as good to go, pitch in, sit tight, gut feeling, soften someone up, go bananas, chip on shoulder, in the heat of the moment, and the last one, down in the dumps. The first one all said are good to go. It means that be ready or prepared for something, ready for some specific task or ready for normal activity, especially after preparation or recovery, under control. Example, and you can understand the meaning of this idiom better. Person A, are we good to go with the plane tickets? Person B, we are good to go. So, we all set on this thing then? All right, we are good to go. Is they're good to go? Then I won't bring the loot. Down! Good to go. Salmon, tuna, sardines. Good to go? The second one, pitching. No, we didn't find Jared Bennett's housing bubble pitch in the lobby of a bank that rejected us. Pitch in, join in and help with something. Example, on Jane's birthday, her friends decided to pitch in and have a surprise party for her. You hung a curveball on a 0-2 pitch in a 3-2 game in the bottom of the eighth and I tattooed it <laughs> over the Michelin tire sign and beat you 4-3. Hey, how fast are they pitching cricket? Maybe the class could pitch in and, and get him a present or something. But hey, I'd love to pitch in and help with this if I could. Now, I know there are a lot of questions and concerns, but for right now, we want to sit tight and just be thankful and grateful for this miracle on the Mississippi. The third one is sit tight. What does the phrase sit tight mean? Wait patiently, wait and take no action, stay where you are, take no action till something happens, wait until further notice. Look at this picture, you are waiting for your boss and he is late and the secretary comes to you and she says he will come as soon as possible, sit tight means sit patiently and he will come. All right, sit tight, I'll be right back. It's okay, you did great. Sit tight, I'll be right back. Listen, mom, sit tight, okay? You're not safe there, we're coming over. And if these creatures are phobic about light, then we just sit tight. And we let the sun come up. Sure thing, just uh, do me a favor and sit tight first. The fourth idiom is gut feeling. It means that a feeling based on sixth sense, not on facts, or a feeling that you are certain is right and you cannot explain why. The first example, I had a gut feeling that he had been lying. And sure enough, it was later proved that he had been. After the interview, Sarah said that she had a gut feeling that she would get the job this time. The last one, as he approached the house, he had a gut feeling that something was wrong. Now my gut feeling tells me Swan is the best suspect we have, so get his butt in here. It's just a gut feeling I have. What? Why? Gut feeling. The next one is soften somebody or something up. This phrasal verb, it is informal and the first meaning is to be nice to someone before you ask them to do something so that they will agree to help you. Example, she was just softening me up. Or maybe the kid will soften them up. Yeah. The second meaning to make an enemy weaker so that they are easier to attack. Example, use artillery to soften up the enemy forces. Artillery is kind of gone. Take a breather. Our pals in the Navy are going to soften them up for us. First I soften you up. <sighs> then it's showtime. Soften them up with the right. Not them flat with the left out of nowhere. The third meaning is that to make something less hard or rough. You must heat the glass to soften it up before you can work. 
You only... know what you can do with an eyeliner too, though, if you want to soften it up a little bit. Mm. You can add a little bit of eyeshadow on. I mean, here's about this. You'll go bananas, okay? Go bananas. Is there any relation between banana and this expression and idiomatic meaning? No, of course. There is no relation between banana and go bananas. Be with me at the end of this video. The meaning is become very angry and act crazy. With this example, you can get the meaning better. She'll go bananas if she sees the house in this dirty condition. They can't kill us. Our embassy will go bananas. Go bananas! Go, go bananas! Go bananas! Go, go bananas! Go, go bananas! <laughs> the next chip on shoulder to have an angry or unpleasant attitude or way of behaving caused by a belief that one has been treated unfairly in the past. Also, you aren't as good as other people or haven't had the same advantages as other people. Someone with the chip on their shoulders seems to always be looking for a fight. Example, he has had a chip on his shoulder ever since he didn't get the promotion he was expecting. That rather large chip that resides right there on your shoulder. Which means you were at that school by the grace of someone else's charity, hence the chip on your shoulder. Living to get older with a chip on your shoulder? Except you think you got a grip, cause your hip got a holster. Ain't no confessor, so buster. The next in the heat of the moment. I won't insult your intelligence by claiming that came out in the heat of the moment. If you say or do something in the heat of the moment, you say or do it without thinking because you are very angry or excited. At a time when you are too angry or excited to think carefully, in the most intense or active stage of some activity or condition. Example, he didn't mean it, he said it in the heat of the moment. More explanation about this idiom during a time of extreme action or emotion. Example, soldiers have to train themselves not to feel fear in the heat of the battle. Another example, one never knows how soldiers will behave in the heat of battle. The last example, in the heat of the negotiations, he forgot to call his wife. It was always, always in the heat of the moment. Oh, come on, <laughs> look, I don't know what words I use in, in, in the heat of the moment, maybe in a sense. The last one, down in the dumps, it means unhappy. Example, she's a bit down in the dumps because she failed one of her exams. Without the library job, I'd just be down in the dumps watching you dig up my lawn. Ronnie, I know you're down in the dumps, but as a fellow bachelor, I know you're going to bounce back. And he's so oh, down in the dumps. Thank you for watching.